right, here we are with uh, trainer Mr. Boziennis. Um, Boots, got some big fights Saturday, IBF Eliminator. Yes, y'all working hard for what y'all been doing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this is the perfect opportunity and it's right on the door and here you are? Oh, yeah. I think this is the perfect opportunity right here. You know what I mean? Castillo Clayton, what problems do you think he's possessed? What have you seen from him that, well, well, that what you, you think? Know, like, like my son said, we don't really pay attention to the people that we fight. I mean, I, I never knew Castillo Clayton until he fought uh, Living That. That's when I knew about him. You know what I mean? And I, but I saw, you know I mean? He's a good fighter. Can't take that away from me. You know what I mean? And uh, that's all I can say about that. Because they started bringing him up as a potential opponent. Yeah. And they, I even heard crazy stuff that they were trying to say uh, Boots is ducking him and crazy stuff yeah, like I that. Yeah, but I just talked to his, his uh, trainer back there, but he ain't saying nothing like that back then. Yeah. Because at the time that when, when he did, they did present him to us, he wasn't even ready. Matter of fact, they said, uh, would you fight? Yeah, we fight anybody. We said like that. But they had to give him time to get his uh, shape in some kind of condition. But then I know after that, he asked the, uh, uh, the fighters, but well, we wanted to fight Delarmy because we were supposed to fight Delarmy before, and Delarmy had got sick. So we fought the ball, uh, Chris Van Hed Van Heerden, and that's when the no, the no contest. Yeah. yeah. We fought him. You know, we was going to knock them out anyway. We fought him, and then that's when we, Delarmy came in. But that's when they had sound the, the fighters. Mm. Uh, Clayton. <laughs> they started talking about uh, they wanted to fight us at that time, but yeah. we didn't know nothing about Clayton. Like I said, so we wanted to fight somebody with a name. We know Delorme had a name. Delorme well, fought fight for the title, and he had a title before. He fought Crawford. He yeah. fought Stadionis. It was beaten and beaten Tyson. I mean uh, Crawford. Uh, Crawford. Yeah, he was up on the points. He, he, yeah, he was Crawford. up on the points. And he fought Stadionis, and with the this was Stadionis. Game. It was it was a close decision too. Yeah. And that's why we we picked him instead of because we didn't know who Clayton was. We would have fought him, but he claimed when he wasn't up there where, where, where people knew him. Everybody, uh, people in the box, they said, who Clayton? They went, so why would we fight him? We wanna, we, you heard what we were trying to do. We were trying to get Porter. We were trying to get uh, Crawford. Spent, I mean, we sound everybody, you know what I mean? You know, we just wanted to try to, you know, be great, man. You just want to prove yourself, basically. Prove ourselves. Yeah. Okay. And they, they the best ones to prove it on. You got Crawford. You got Spence. Them the top guys. Yeah, Porter at that time, the top guy. Uh, uh. Thurman, we sound all them guys. The only top guys we sound. We would, I mean, we sound. We didn't want the guys that was behind them. We want the guys right there. Yeah, that's what, that was what happened. Now, let, let me ask you, um, with Canelo losing, do you feel like Spence versus Crawford is going to be for number one pound for pound? You know what? It should be. It should be. That's what somebody brought up to me. And yeah, it should be. I think that was a great question. I think that, I think that was good. I think it should be. Them two pound for pound. Now, um, I asked Boots earlier, he said he doesn't care who if, if it was Spence or Crawford on who he would fight. Do you have a preference or same no, thing, you don't, don't care? No, we don't have no preference, man. I mean, Does anyone can get it? No discrimination? No, we, we, we fight <laughs> anyone of them, man. They're both great fighters. We fight any one of them guys, man. You know? Now, a lot of people online, they say two things. They either say Boots is the truth and he's the future pound for pound number one, or they say he, he ain't fought nobody yet. But, but they, they've been saying that from the beginning. When he, when he fought uh, uh, Lemonette. You know what I mean? Then we be living that. Look, now they saying I'm um, same with Delong Delong. You know what I mean? Them all got they top guys, man. Living that was a world champion. Come on, man. On, and with the distance with uh Mikey Garcia. Yeah, exactly. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Now I, I wanted to ask you, do you feel like uh it's gonna be hard maybe for guys to fight boots because of his power? I mean his his record is literally identical to Mike Tyson, twenty eight and 0. 26 knockouts. Uh -huh. Like, do you feel like the managers and promoters, they just don't want to risk anyone fighting boots because of that? Well, see, a lot of people, like I said, you know what I mean? And like I just tell my man just now, champs now, there's no fighter that's scared of another fighter. It's politics. You got the managers, you got the trainers to tell them which way to go. Or, or they promote if they have. You know what I mean? The fighter is willing to fight anybody. They'll rumble. Yeah, they'll rumble. But you know, high risk, low reward. So you're taking a chance if you're fighting boots. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're right there where you're supposed to be. At. Why would you fight Boots and you fight this boy for a million? And you probably didn't fight Boots for what? Uh, half a million? Exactly. You like, know what I mean? So it's like, politics. Like, no knock on Floyd. No, no, this is no disrespect to Floyd, but right. it's like with Floyd, he, you know, he's going to beat you by decision. You know, right. more than right. like he. You don't care. And you'll be fine. You'll be right. fine after that fight. But with a guy like Boots, if he stops you, your career might not be the same after and that. That's what I'm saying. Look at those guys that he Boots fought before. A lot of them guys ain't fighting no more. Man. Um, so we got a. It's gonna be jam packed. Uh, you got Carson, California. You're gonna have a a big a big crowd. Yeah. After the Delorme fight, 
it feels like the buzz and the expectations of Boots just exploded. Do you feel like it's going to be the same the same for this fight as well? No, I can't really say, man. You know what I mean? Styles make fights, man. You know what I mean? Wichicombe is a good boxer. He's a good counterpuncher, so we'll see uh, when that time comes. Let me ask you how Boots switches up. Um, right-handed natural. southpaw. Is this natural? Natural ability. You know, I'm going to tell you the reason why it's natural. Because when Boots was little, he was always on this side. I said, you know, like I started off. I started off on, on, on the orthodox side. Okay. So what I did with him, trained him on that side, and then when he switched him on this side, he was little with that guy. He does it better than anybody you see in, in, in that division. Or in the switching. You don't know when he's switching. Yeah, you he know? does it effortlessly because effortlessly, they, yeah. they they say, people try saying Bud's a better switch hitter. No, no. But, you see, Boots got power on both sides. But, but doesn't. Do you feel like um, with, with Boots, people try to say, like, uh, his defense ain't that good, but then at the same time I see him, he trains 12 hours. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not 12 hours, 12 rounds, just defense only. But what, what, what I tell you, though, just like I told my man from Champs, I'm telling you now, the reason why Boots do get hit, and if you notice, it's not that many times. How you, how you going to get hit like two, three times and your defense is bad? You ain't going to get hit that many times. And then another thing about that, if you want to be great, you got to take chances. If you take chances. Boots fight inside and outside. You won't get hit, but it's the way you get hit. Do you feel like it's important for him to be crowd-pleasing? and You know, to, to be an, um, an attraction, to be a guy that, that people want to watch on TV? Oh, yeah, I think that's that's, that's most important. That's, that's who uh, pay uh, pay that money. Because you could win. It's like Regendahl, Regendahl, he beat Donaire, and they put him on the shelf. Yeah. So it's like it, talent and, you know, yeah, skill doesn't matter they, all the time. They want to see uh, some... Um, Good fights. That's what they want to see. They don't want to see nobody uh, uh, moving around, boxing and moving, and just and staying away and not, you know, taking a chance. You know what I mean? But I, I love the guys like that. That boxing don't hit and don't get hit. That's the name of the game. Exactly. They said the best. The, they said the best chin is the one that don't get hit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, hit, the name of the game. Let me ask you, Charlo Costano. You got any prediction? Anything? You, um... Man, listen, man. That's a good <laughs> fight, but I got to go with Charlo. Charlo hurt him early and then hurt him late, and but he, he but Castano controlled the middle rounds. Yeah. What do you, what do you feel like Charlo can do different? I'll go out there and do the same thing, but just get him out here this time. You know what I mean? And don't waste waste no time. And, and like stay behind the jab, put your combination together, and, and, and different angles, and that's it. Because what you come is right in front of you. Do you, you feel know? like it's important for um for Charlo to take the lead because Castano took the lead and and Charlo was the one boxing? Do you think he should maybe mix it up this fight? This time you got to go go and. Don't leave it in the hands of the judges. Go for broke. Go out there and take them out. All right. Thanks so much, Mr. Bose. Anything, um, anything you want to close out with? No, I just close out. I'm happy to talk to you, man, and uh, hope to see you down the line. All right, Matt. Appreciate you so yes, much, sir. Mr. Bose.